curbed los angeles uh had a report uh, about uh, uh ways and what ways has done how ways has changed driver behavior um i love ways i use it all the time uh even in areas where i know where i'm going again for live traffic um let me give you a little idea of what our topic okay is the city of los angeles here's what the city of los angeles looks like right now folks mm. see that red <laughs> that means those cars aren't going anywhere wow um, what got some ways, maroon and black on there yeah what ways has done is uh, aggressively and i don't mean this in a bad way but i mean what ways is looks at is so it's the evening commute you want to get home you don't want to sit on a freeway you don't want to sit on one of the major thoroughfares hey Here's a street parallel to the major thoroughfare that is a residential street. And these old streets in Los Angeles are very narrow. Um, so what's happened is, and this has happened to me the last time I was in LA, I stuck to the thoroughfare because I just did. And here are all these cars zipping on and off the side roads uh, and like 20 or 30 cars, lines of cars, not just one. You could tell, obviously, lots of people are, they just want to get home. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, so what the, what has happened is the people who live in these neighborhoods are like, enough, we're done. We don't need any more of this traffic. Uh, because before ways, people just sat on the main road. <laughs> now it's like, oh, I know where they'll, it'll keep routing me to the, to the quickest way. Um, driving through Beverly Hills, I did a little bit of ways backtracking and it was like, wow, this is amazing. You know, I'm just zooming down these little uh, roads. So again, this is things that we don't really see sort of like the unintended consequences for Uber and Lyft. Uh, um, ways is changing people's behavior. Uh, and it's a, it's impacting neighborhoods that previously didn't have cars. Now, you live in the heart of Los Angeles and you're complaining about cars. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, my sympathy level isn't quite at a hundred percent, you know, and, <laughs> and I've lived in LA and had a car and, and lived in LA and didn't have a car. Uh, um, all I'm saying is if you buy property in the heart of Los Angeles, not expecting there to be traffic, even on your little residential street. Yeah. You're not really very realistic. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Now, I know that Waze did crack down um, because this came up a few years ago, this exact same thing, routing cars through side roads. And apparently what was happening is that the residents would walk out onto the street and they would report an accident. And Waze eventually caught on to what they were doing and they would decline the report. After a while. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's a mechanism built into ways to reinforce that too. And if no one else is reporting that accident, mm. it gets tight. Now, obviously, obviously if they're speeding through and you've got kids playing, I understand yeah. that, but right. people aren't speeding through. They don't know the neighborhood and it's a lot of twists and turns. It's, it's uh, a suburban and, brawl. Right. And that's, it's exactly one of the, uh, the arguments in the article is you now have new people who aren't familiar with the roads. And the reason they're cutting through the neighborhoods is because they want to get from point A to point B faster. So they're going to drive it faster. And yeah, if they're not familiar with the residential area, then you might have kids playing and, and whatever. Because, of course, Waves, Waves doesn't take that into consideration. Mm -hmm. My final thought on this is, again, having lived in Los Angeles for a number of years, uh, um, it, both sides here are really kind of awful. Uh, the drivers are awful and selfish and they drive recklessly and, and too quickly sometimes. And yeah, I, again, I feel sorry for somebody who just wants to get home. I get that. Um, but uh, maybe take mass transit. Uh, and the homeowners who want a quiet, you know, Pacific street in the middle of downtown, uh, in the middle of urban Los Angeles, they're not being realistic. And I get that they want that. There's nothing wrong with that, but that's not fair either. There's a lot to hate on both sides. There is. Yeah. Yeah.